And yes, the CPU is pegged at 100%. I believe it is stuck again. So let's uh, move this out of the way. We'll run the handle command again. And it appears that it's stuck on Sky Captain. Okay, so... So the next step would be to go back to Twonky and uh, stop sharing again, move the file out of the way, and start it back up and see if it stops again. Okay, so we moved um, Sky Captain out of the way. That was the second file that was hanging for us. And uh, the in Twonky's running again, indexing the rest of the movies. We'll see uh, how it proceeds. Uh, you can see on the right of the screen I've got the... Uh, uh, CPU indicator up there. We can see if it gets pegged at 100% again. Um, if not, we'll know that things are looking okay and it's doing its scan. Right. So, so far, so good. And I've also known that since you were talking, it went through Hunt for Red October and bounced around and it's now left that folder and gone to my sample videos and photos in. So uh, that hopefully that's good news that uh, the one file that wasn't compatible with the Tonky program um, yep. So what I've seen has been that it's been movies only that has caused the high CPU load. I haven't seen it with pictures or music. And you're done with your videos now. It did all 865. It's done a bunch of photos. And I uh, hope it'll be moving on to music soon. So I'm crossing my fingers and thinking that we got it nipped now, that it was just the two files. Yeah, the, the videos that I archive are again through done, uh, done through DVD shrink and then saved as VOB files onto the server. So uh, that may be an option for some of the users if they're having issues when they go in and download the handle and check it out, that if they're having a similar issue, uh, they'll have a, a, a means of working around Yeah, it'll around be interesting it. to test those and see uh, if, you, if you can find problems with those files or if they still play okay or you know what's going on. I'm curious to hear. Okay, so the, the performance now uh, back in the console seems to be back to normal. So again, I'm running an EX45, uh, and I should be able to go to some of my different tabs as I'm clicking on here without any performance degradation, which is exactly what's going on. Yeah, it seems very usable. It seems like it's running well. So I was wondering if um, you could recap exactly what we did, and then John could chime in to make sure that, that we've covered all of our bases as far as uh, a solution for this issue. Sure. So uh, first step, identify a problem. Uh, sluggish console, uh, in-progress meter not updating, seeming to be stuck for a long period of time. 100% um, CPU load, you can tell that um, from the system status tab here. If you're running the 3.0 software, you'll see the CPU load maxed out. Um, it's not here, so it looks like it's good. Um, and in that case, you're going to want to identify what file is causing the problems. Uh, we did that by downloading the handle utility, which we've got linked in the, show, in the notes. Um, putting that on the server and then running it with this command prompt here the handle minus P with the name of Twonky to, as the process to look for. And it identified the video file that was causing the problem. We see the Sky Captain Bob here was uh, causing Twonky to become unhappy. We had to stop Twonky, move the file out of the way. So that means move it to another share that's not indexed by Twonky. Uh, I use the public share. You can put it wherever you want as long as Twonky's not going to pick it up. Start Twonky up again. Make sure it scans the rest of your media just fine. If not, you'll have to go through these troubleshooting steps again until you've got all the problematic files moved out of the way. And that's about it. Uh, this is great news. Um, the viewers can see that the CPU usage of my uh, HP EX45 is going up and down doing exactly what it's supposed to, which is indexing. And you can, and you can see here that it's done. Uh, at 8.36 p.m., it finished the database scan. Uh, you can see all the number of music tracks, photos, and videos. Uh, it's done and it looks good. Yeah, I'm very impressed. After I had first done the 3.0 upgrade and the patch had done, uh, it stalled for hours on end. And I, I would restart and it would be fine. And then as soon as it would start indexing, it would catch on Fearless. And, and I didn't realize it until I had posted that tech tip that you could actually see Fearless inside the screenshot. And that's what started our dialogue here about how do we fix this and how can you help me get around um, a possible issue that I have with the way that I archive my DVDs. And hopefully this helps any readers that are watching that are stuck in the same way. Yeah. And Alex, what about the other issue there with the uh, checking for the media streaming? The uh, member to fix that we have did there, is, would that also apply to, uh, to Tim's setup? 
Um, I think Tim said he checked his music and he wasn't having issues with streaming. Uh, but just to recap, if you're having issues where your music doesn't seem to play through the remote web streaming, uh, which is the web pages where you can listen to your music, or through the iStream application on your iPhone or iPod Touch, um, then that's a symptom of another problem, uh, which is basically a transcoding issue. There's some, uh, basically a bad configuration file is put into place. Uh, um, so I, I've got documentation on how to resolve that uh, on my blog as well. Uh, is there a way that you could just do it off the cuff? I know this is kind of last minute. Is there a way that you could just kind of walk through uh, sure. and show us where that's at? Now, I had already made, as you can see on the desktop, a check first, because that was the first thing that I checked was to make sure that Tonky wasn't mad uh, before. But now is there a way that you could show us uh, what John was talking about with your fix and check to the 128 bit stream issue? Definitely. So uh, I just launched my computer on the server. We're still in the remote desktop session. Um, and you're going to want to go to the C drive. And in here, there's a Twonky directory, Twonky Media. And inside here, the CGI bin directory is where the uh, media transcoder is. And so here, this file, the audio transcode mp3 uh, dot description file, uh, this has um, some lines in it that cause problems. And it looks here like you've updated yours with the correct version. Well, mine, remember, mine was an EX45 upgrade. That's right. You so. will experience the problem because, in your case, Patch 2 does not deliver the new version of Twonky because it's already up to date. Um, so, for some reason, just the uh, EX490, EX495, and Data Vault will encounter this issue. Okay, so, John, you didn't have this issue either, correct? You had the, the new version of Twonky installed, which gave you the correct description file? Well, that's, I had the 490, which I did have the issue. Oh, that's right. You have a 470 upgraded, and then you have the 490 also. Yeah, the, the issue I had was with my 490. Okay, well, I'll make sure that um, I reference Alex's site on the proper copy and paste over, but as you can see there, that it was um, specifically referencing the 128-bit stream function. All right, and both, both of these issues are documented in the same blog post that will get linked in. Nice. Okay. Okay. Well, thank so we'll you. Just have to wait for uh, HP to come or Twonky to, uh, I guess HP and Twonky to come out with the version 5.12. That should have the fix in it, right? Uh, what we've seen from Twonky posting on their forums is that uh, there's a version 5.12, which is supposed to address the CPU utilization issue. Um, HP has delivered the 5.1.1 version. So uh, for some reason, there's a discrepancy there. Uh, neither side is really saying how that happened or why. So we'll, we'll just have to wait and see. But this has been a great recap because using the handle tool, I can actually see what the holdup is. For example, my VOB files. And then for those users that have the 490, 495, they can actually use uh, your second method to make sure that it's not the utilization issue. So it's, it's, a, yep. it's a great balance between finding out exactly what is the issue and not jumping ahead and thinking it's specifically Tonky, which is one of the things that I had done. That's right. So I apologize, Twonky. Uh, <laughs> Alex and John have both shown me the error of my ways, and that it's just, you know, so many processes and so many different ways of doing things that occasionally you have to do a troubleshoot. And Alex's guide has been great with doing this. Um, thank you, Alex, for being here, and thank you, John, for sitting in. I know it's been rough not being able to see what we're looking at, but the video will be out soon, and you'll be able to see exactly what you've been missing. Thanks, Glad to help, Tim. Thanks for having me on. Thanks, Tim. Okay, thank you.